Hey everyone, so... Boop! Hello! So I quickly realized that outside was just not gonna work for this video. Um, apologize for that. Thought it was gonna be like a cool idea to film outside, get some cool lighting. Just an interesting background, but it didn't work out. Sorry. Um, yeah, so anyway, this video is going to be about Casey Neistat's video about interviewing Logan Paul. I watched the video earlier today when it was released, and here are my thoughts. The intent is what is important to me. It's a very important factor to me. Um, and you know, everyone screws up. I think it's about what you do afterwards that shows your true character. Um, yeah. How you bounce back, and I think that's something Logan's trying to do from what I see. Um, but I don't know, I have questions. I think we all have questions, and I think Casey's video explained that. So, here are my thoughts Casey talks about how this video could possibly help Logan, and he's concerned about that. He doesn't really want to do that. Um, but I think that either way, he's giving, you know, the audience, the people, the opportunity to hear Logan's answers and to develop their own opinion, you know, on their own. This gives us, it gives everyone the equal opportunity to hear what Logan has to say about it and then decide what they think about it. From very early on in the video, I had a problem with what Logan was saying pertaining to his downfall and his demise, as he said. He said he had this demise and this downfall after the, the you know, the, the notorious forest suicide video. Um, he claimed that he lost everything. I think that's a little ignorant. I mean, you look at his follower count, what does he have, like 12 million or something on Instagram? You didn't lose everything. You still have all your fans. Maybe not all of them, but you still have a huge base of fans, an army of supporters, I'm sure he still had his family, he has money, he has a house, I'm sure his friends didn't all ditch him. He says he forgot to be a human being and just focused on being a creator. I don't really like that sentence. It feels like an out. You forget to be a human being. You don't think about being a human being. You don't think about being a decent person. You just are or you aren't. He said, the reasons that he was a good person is because he's vegan, he has a wise girlfriend, and because he creates positive um, content. What does that have anything to do with having, with being a good person? Yo, uh, I'm a pretty good person, huh? Check out my GF. Like, what? What do you mean? I hate Logan's excuse when he says he was, you know, his brand is extreme in the fact that he's, you know, always living life on the edge. But I think that you can live life on the edge and not hurt others. You can be daredevils, you can have fun, you can push the limits, you can do crazy things and not hurt others. One thing that I could appreciate for Logan, Logan is his willingness to not give up. That is one thing that I respect about the guy, and he was talking about that. And you know, he, he got challenged this fight by KSI, um, he accepted, he took it as a way to consume himself in something that wasn't creating content. I respect that, and I think as someone that's trying to find themselves, it's a good, positive thing to put his time and energy into. So I don't, by any means, think that the fight is a stupid idea or impulsive. Maybe it is a little, but I think in the way that Logan is acting, I think he's definitely changing a little bit. One of the quotes that Casey said, he said, I felt like I went to a place where I was so caught up in that that I was full of shit. And that's regarding daily vlogging. And then I think he was talking about just getting too much into your own head. I think that's something that's super dangerous and makes you lose who you are as a person. I think that's exactly what happened to Logan. To kind of wrap up this video, my final thoughts. I don't think Logan's a shitty guy. I think he's done pretty shitty things. Um, to me, it seems like he's trying to and wants to be the best he can be. At the end of the day, Logan Paul has a great influence and I hope he uses it for good. And I hope he comes back from this and with the right intention. I hope he, he, he changes and shapes into a better man. From his perspective, that's what he's doing. He, that's what he's trying to do. And I hope, hope the doc is 
with good intent. Thank you for watching.